I love God too. Amen. Amen. Everybody say amen. 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 Yeah. Uh, you love God too. We all love God. Yep, we love God. And you know what the good news is? That God loves every one of you. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that great? Yeah. You know, there was a, a boy named Ralph who was in preschool. And, boy, we have a great preschool here at Salem Covenant Church. And this boy was in preschool, and he learned something one day that not everything that people say to him is told through words. Like, sometimes his teacher would say, be quiet. She spoke through words, right? Be quiet. But another time, she just went like this. And what, did, what was she telling him? Be quiet. Yeah, sometimes she would say it with words, be quiet. Sometimes she'd say it without any words, just, and they all knew, time to be quiet. Sometimes she would say, time for snacks, and everybody come running. And sometimes she'd just go, and what would they think? Time for snacks, come, let's go. <laughs> yeah, so they would all come running and have their snacks together, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Sometimes they have to do both. Come, and then, shh, exactly. You can talk to me later, okay? Um, so God talks to us that way, too. Sometimes God speaks through words, like the Bible, right? We read in the Bible that God loves us, but sometimes God speaks in ways that aren't with words. Like when Jesus came, just a person, God came, and showed people that we, God loves us. Jesus even died for us to show us how much God loves us. God speaks in a lot of different ways. I, I mentioned in a sermon a couple weeks ago how I was feeling really lonely one time, and a cat came and just came and sat down next to me. And I knew I wasn't alone. I said, thank you, God, for reminding me that you're here with me. I think of a Bible verse where it says, to God's people, that when they step out to follow what God's calling them to do, all the trees of the field clap their hands. How do you think trees clap their hands? Yeah. That's right. They swing their branches around and their leaves. And sometimes if you listen, you'll hear the leaves just kind of fluttering and making noise. And whenever I hear that now, I think... Trees of the field are clapping their hands. Thank you, God. You're telling me you can do it, Mark. You can do it. If I'm running outside or something, when you listen to the trees, you can know God is clapping for you. He loves you, and he wants you to go ahead and trust him. There are a lot of different ways, like rainbows, right? Whenever you see a rainbow, that reminds us God loves us. So I want you, of course, when you go now to children's church to flourish worship, or when you go to Sunday school, I want you to listen to what God says through the words of the Bible. But I want you to start looking for the ways in which God's speaking to you, telling you he loves you, just maybe through a hug or through a beautiful sunrise or through your pastor looking at you and saying, I really love you too. Let's pray for just a minute, okay? Lord, thank you so much for each one of these boys and girls and that you do love each one of them so much. Help us all, Lord, to know that and to keep hearing that good news in all the different ways you tell us. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you.